Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 14. And in this tutorial, we are going to talk about logical operators in PHP. So I'm just starting off with a basic if statement here. And we're going to talk about logical operators, like I said. So you guys know that we can already use an if statement to check for one condition to see if this one condition is true. But what happens if we wanted to check for two or more different conditions? So in other words, we wanted to make sure that yes, apples needs to be greater than one, but apples also needs to be less than 10, okay? Then we've got to use logical operators, okay? And the first logical operator I'm gonna show you guys is the AND operator, which is a double ampersand, just like that, okay? So now I can go ahead and put in my second condition, which, uh, like I said, I wanted to make sure that apples is less than 10. So this expression now reads, uh, if apples is greater than one and apples is less than 10, then go ahead and do whatever's in uh, this echo statement, okay? So let's just say you have more than one, but uh, less than 10, uh, and we can probably append on our variable as well. So you have less than 10 apples, okay? Uh, so right now, apples is set to five. Uh, and is five uh, greater than one? Yes, it is. And is five less than 10? Well, yes, it is. So both of these uh, conditions actually evaluate to true. So that means this code should run and it should print in the browser. So let's go ahead and click refresh. And it says uh, you have more than one apples, but less than 10. Uh, and that five is actually confusing because <laughs> we didn't really word that in there, but hey. Uh, okay, so you can see that when we use this and logical operator, both of these uh, conditions have to be true. So what happens if one of them is false? Let's say I had apples as 11. Well, now this would kind of read, if 11 is greater than one, which it is, so this is true, but we're going and 11 less than 10. Well, 11 isn't less than 10, so this condition is false. Uh, and that means that this whole if statement will return false, or this whole uh, if condition will re return false. Okay, so that means that we're not gonna print this out, okay, because one of these conditions was false. So let's go back and click refresh. And as you can see, we've got nothing printed out. And that's because uh, when we use the and logical operator, both of the conditions on either side of the operator have to be true. You can't just have one true and the other one not. Okay. But not only can we use this AND operator, we also have an OR operator in PHP, uh, which is these two pipe symbols. Uh, so those will be next to your enter key above the shift key on your keyboard. Uh, you'll have to hold down shift to actually use them. And what these symbols mean is OR. So what this sentence or what this uh, expression reads out to be is if apples is greater than one or if apples is less than 10 do this okay so right now apples is set to 11 and is 11 greater than one well yes it is so there's actually uh, now we're using the or uh, operator here so it doesn't actually matter if the statement is true or not, okay? Because this condition is true, uh, you know, it's true. We're only checking for or if 
you know, we're only checking if this is true or if this is true. So it doesn't actually matter uh, which one of these is false. Okay, one can be true, one can be false. Uh, we're still going to print this out as long as one of these two conditions is true. So 11 is indeed greater than 1. Uh, so when we go back and click refresh, uh, we've got this thing printed out, okay? Likewise, if I change apples to 0, uh, when we read through this again, we've got is 0 greater than 1? Well, no, it's not. But we're also checking or if apples is less than 10. So is 0 less than 10? Well, yes, 0 is actually less than 10. So this condition is at least true, even though this one is false. So uh, we're still going to uh, get this thing printed out uh, on, the, on the browser, okay? So that's how these logical operators work. You can use AND, uh, which is the double ampersand sign, and that means that both of these conditions have to be true for this statement to execute or you can use the or uh, our logical operator which basically means only one has to be true it doesn't matter which one as long as one of these uh, conditions is true this code will run so thank you very much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.